The newly updated Fontaine Specialized EQ1 Hydraulic Equalizing Spreader is clearly a market leader in terms of versatility, flexibility, and reliability. Remarkably, it only takes a few minutes to connect or disconnect the EQ1 to the trailer, so achieving optimum weight distribution for your load and protecting your investment is now easier than ever. In these next few minutes, we will show you how truly fast and easy it is to operate a Fontaine EQ1 spreader. As with all heavy equipment, remember to exercise extreme caution, follow all stated and customary safety procedures, and position the trailer on firm, reasonably level ground. Before we begin, attach the EQ1 spreader to the trailer bogey. To connect the EQ1, align the two top lugs, then insert the pins, attach the washers, and fasten the pin retainers. After the top lugs are secured, align the two bottom lugs and install the pins, washers, and retainers. Once the trailer, spreader, and fourth axle are fully connected, verify that all air and electrical lines are attached properly. After your load is positioned and secured properly on the trailer deck, use the gooseneck ride height adjustment to achieve the desired front deck ground clearance. Then, make sure the trailer bogey ride height adjustment is in the center position. Now you're ready to prepare the EQ1 spreader for road mode. First, verify that air is going to all four axles. Then push the dump valve on the fourth axle to the closed position. Make sure that the hydraulic return line valve is in the closed position. Make sure the accumulator safety control valve is in the open position. Check all fluid levels. This includes the gas and engine oil in the spreader motor, plus the hydraulic fluid reservoir tank for the EQ1 spreader. Then start the spreader motor. Using the cylinder control lever, apply pressure to the EQ1 spreader axle to equalize the load between the fourth axle and the trailer axle group. You can monitor changes in hydraulic pressure using the liquid-filled pressure gauge. When the distance between the top of the axle and the bottom of the lower beam flange on all four axles is within one inch, the axles are properly equalized. After the axles are equalized, turn off the spreader motor and open the hydraulic tank return line valve. Allow sufficient time for the air ride leveling system to equalize and then recheck the axle to flange measurements. If they are still within one inch, then you can air up the system and drive away. Caution! If the trailer is moved forward with the backup pin locked, damage to the trailer could occur. Before moving the trailer forward, unlock the backup pin. To unlock the backup pin, first release the manual safety lock, then shift the backup pin control lever to the unlocked position. Operators typically avoid backup situations when a spreader is attached to their equipment. But if moving in reverse becomes necessary, the EQ1 spreader makes this easy. Just be sure to follow this important six-step procedure. Close the suspension air supply line to the EQ1 spreader. Pull the spreader dump valve to dump the air from the EQ1 spreader suspension. Tighten the EQ1 spreader axle limit chains on both sides. This prevents the fourth axle airbags from hyperextending to avoid damage. Move the backup pin control lever to the locked position and apply the manual safety lock. Make sure that the hydraulic tank return line valve is in the closed position. Then lift the fourth axle off the ground using the cylinder control lever. Warning! The backup pin must be installed before lifting the fourth axle off the ground. Never back the trailer with the fourth axle on the ground. Failure to do so could result in unwarranted damage to the trailer or bodily injury. This successfully completes the Fontaine EQ1 Hydraulic Equalizing Spreader Operating Procedure. The Fontaine Specialized EQ1 is built tough and is easy to operate, so you spend more time on the job and less time loading and unloading your cargo. Plus, since it's a Fontaine, you know you can count on lasting performance mile after mile.